Hello, in this jQuery video, I am going to show you how to add new HTML elements to your page using, well, jQuery. So first of all, let me set a few things up. So I'm going to create a div, and in this div, I'm going to say, hello world, for example, keep it simple. I'm going to have an ID of epic div. I'm going to have a button as well, so button, and there's four different ways that you can add new HTML content. You can append content, which inserts the content at the end of the selected element, but still within it. There's prepend, which is just opposite that. It inserts it within the element, but the start of it. There's after, so it inserts the content directly after the element, but not inside of it. And then before, which is just the opposite of after, so it inserts it before for the selected element. And if I, I'm going to say append, and for this, I'm going to say id of append button. I'm going to set up all the buttons from the start. So this is prepend, prepend. This is going to be after. This is going to be before. I just need to set this up. Prepend after before and now one last thing that I want to do is apply some CSS to the epic div. So I'm just gonna say hash epic div. I'm gonna say color of red. The reason I'm applying this is anything that gets inserted within the epic div you know, we'll have that property that's part of it. So now we're gonna detect the button click or detect when an event of click has occurred on these buttons. So if you know more information about that, feel free to check out the event part of this series. So this is epic, now it is a pinned button dot click. And I'm going to copy this. Like I said, I just want to set everything up from the start. And this is going to be prepend. This is going to be after. This is going to be before. So I am going to, in here, first of all, you need to select what you're adding the content to. So in, the, in our case, it's the epic div, or that, that's a div that has an ID of epic div. The function for append is, well, just dot append and now you specify your html content and this could be you know actual html content so i could literally just put html content so i'm actually going to do that you could just put regular text but i want to actually be putting that html content so i'm going to put in b4 bold and i'm going to say append so if i run this see what happens when i click it as you can see it's bold and it's inside of it so if i reload it we have the div i click it it's within the div and if i click it again it'll just keep adding it right to the end now to prepend it we just do we call the prepend method prepend and I want to say prepend. Now, if I reload, click prepend, it adds it right at the start. It doesn't add any space. If you want a space, make sure you put it here. Now, if I were to do that, as you can see, there is a space now. And as you can also see, it's right at the start. Like I say, you don't have to have HTML elements in here, you could just have pure text as well. Now, let me show you how what the after one looks like. After and before, I'll implement them right now. So after, you can guess, it's just the method after. And we're gonna have one for before. Before, and now if I reload it, let's see what we get. So if I click append, prepend, so that's still adding it within the div. If I click after, as you can see, it, it directly adds it Afterwards, the reason it's on a new line is because the div is a block level element. And if I click after, it adds it before 
and it doesn't have the div styling because it's literally before the element you know and it's not inside of it so that's how you add html content you can go crazy and do whatever you want if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video